Hello viewers. In this video, we will demonstrate how to move a Windows Server virtual machine from VMware into Oracle Cloud Infrastructure as a custom emulation mode image. Before we get started, let's take a look at the demo environment. This diagram shows a simple data center and an Oracle Cloud Infrastructure tenancy. The simple data center consists of a single ESXi host, shared NFS storage, and a Linux admin host. The OCI tenancy in this diagram consists of a virtual cloud network with all related components, including a public subnet. The tenancy also includes an OCI object storage bucket that will be used to transfer the virtual machine's VMDK to OCI. For this demonstration, we will be moving the server 2008 R2 VM to OCI. After validating that the VM is eligible to be moved to OCI, the VM will be powered off and the admin host will copy the VMDK from NFS storage to the VMDK upload bucket in OCI. After the upload is complete, we will create a custom image from the VMDK and launch a new instance. Finally, we will log into the new instance to perform some validation and cleanup. Now that we have an overview of the process, let's see what it looks like in action. There are a few requirements and recommendations for running emulation mode Windows images in OCI. All of the documentation referenced for this procedure will be shown at the end of the video and links are provided in the description. We will start by logging into the VMware vSphere web client for vCenter to verify that the VM is set up for BIOS booting. We can verify this in the firmware section of the VM options tab of the virtual machine settings. Next, we will need to verify a few Windows settings. We will start by looking at the disk layout. In order to create a custom Windows image that runs in emulation mode in OCI, the VM needs to be a single, unencrypted VMDK that is less than 300 gigabytes in size. The VM must also not need any additional data drives to boot. This VM uses just one non-encrypted 80 gigabyte disk. For this demo, we will not be generalizing the image using the Windows SysPrep utility. This means that the VM will retain its hostname and system ID when it is launched in OCI. Additionally, since this VM is running Windows Server 2008 R2, we will need to ensure that the Windows registry is set to load IDE device drivers at boot time. Once everything is validated, we can shut down the VM. Once we can see that the VM has been powered off from vCenter, we can log into the admin host to start copying the VMDK to object storage. The admin host here is already set up to use the OCI CLI and has a profile configured for this demonstration. The transfer time is dependent on the size of the VMDK and your internet bandwidth. Once the upload is complete, we can log into the OCI console to import the image. Since the VMDK that we are using to create the custom image is in the same tenancy and region that we will be launching the instance in, we can use a structured URL to import the image from object storage. Please note that when importing custom Windows images, be sure to select the matching version of the Windows image that is being imported. Failure to provide the correct version could result in a violation of your Microsoft licensing agreement. Once the image import process starts, it'll take some time to complete. When the image import is complete, a new instance can be launched directly from the image details page. Once the instance is running, we can log in to do some cleanup and verification. All Windows instances running on Oracle Cloud infrastructure need to be configured to use Oracle provided KMS servers for compliance with Microsoft licensing. Additionally, Windows settings for custom imported images need to be adjusted so that the time and date properly function during instance reboots and hardware clock synchronization. Optionally, you can now uninstall VMware tools and reboot one last time. And there it is, you have successfully moved the VMware virtual machine to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Go ahead and give it a try for yourself. If you don't already have an Oracle Cloud Infrastructure account, visit cloud.oracle.com forward slash try it to sign up for a free trial today. Thank you for watching this video and happy clouding.